We should put our hands in front of it. So this is bubble overkill. We've got eight bubble wands. I, at Walmart I bought a bunch of bottles of bubble because uh, my homemade wands weren't as good. 12 volt motor. These are 300 watt uh, inch and a half pipe heaters. They actually clamp over a pipe and they've got 300 watts of heat. Uh, powering the whole thing is a PC power supply underneath. This is a PID loop controller. It's to control the heat. The idea is that hot air would create bubbles that rise. Um, it seems to kind of work. It's definitely not necessary and uh, not as dramatic as you would think. This is a PC fan. It's a 12 volt fan. It's it's definitely has a lot more airflow than a normal fan. This one pulls two and a half amps. So, um, can really put out some air. So down here we've got our 120 volts and our 12 volts DC power. So let's start with the motor. The potentiometer, you can turn this and adjust the speed if you like. Not really necessary because high speed is what we need. The fan can of course adjust the speed using this potentiometer. Okay, so we can try to go ahead and heat it up. I'll go ahead and turn the heat on. Right now it's 33 degrees Celsius. 200 is my set point. Starting to heat up. Let's go ahead and kick the sucker on. Some of the bubbles appear to go higher. It doesn't really seem to work. Another feature is this is actually rated out of an old Keurig uh, coffee machine. I was looking for something to do with the parts, but it's a very convenient way to put this down. It has a nice satisfying snap to lower the whole contraption into. So this little uh, plastic piece here was um, I 3d printed it of course um, if you don't have a printer it'd be pretty easy to fabricate something out of wood or so forth but this uh, if you want the file you can get it on my website these snap in there pretty good so um, this gear motor down here I think I must have salvaged it out of a printer so I'm sorry I don't really have a part number for that so we have fan for the power supply and then a place for the air to exit. So these PID controllers are pretty affordable on eBay, 10 or 20 bucks. Um, I do have a fuse here and some terminal blocks to make it nicer looking. That thing back there is a, um, it's like a solid state relay and that's to, to power up the heaters. But like I said, the heaters, didn't necessarily make it that much better. Then when it comes to the switches, I just have a bunch of switches before everything. These are probably 1K potentiometers, just in line with the fans and the, the motors. This is a thermal couple. I need to attach this to the heaters a little better. Um, it's what tells the, it's the process number that comes into the PID controller so it doesn't uh, burn them out it, it can kind of hold a steady temperature for you 